everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we fought the Pokeball Afro headed awesomeness embodiment himself, Mir B. And we failed to capture his Shadow Pseudo Widow because I didn't have any balls to get. I didn't have any balls on me. Oh well. Or rather, I ran out of balls. Because I ran out of balls. Oh well. Anyway, in this episode, we are here in a slightly more peaceful pyrite town that has slightly less crime in it now, now that we've taken out Mir B. Hopefully, Duke King will go back to running things the way that they should be run. Alright, so, going around here, I just want to say this. I might have given the constri- the, um, I might have misconstrued that I, um, or I might have made you misconstrue that I hate Pirate Town's music. I don't hate Pirate Town's music. Um, I just wanted to say, though, that... Honestly, I think Pirate Town's music could be awesome if it was mixed with the stock market song from Fortune Street. I don't know, just throwing that out there. But anyway, this is an area that I never showed. This is a hotel. There is no reason to stay here as far as I know. It costs you 100 Poké Dollars to stay here a day, uh, for a night, rather. And you get healed to full health, which is nice. But as far as I know, there's not any benefit to staying here. And you can just go heal for free at the Coliseum. So I never did show off this area when we were trying to progress through the area quickly. I just thought I would kind of show it on the way out because, surprise, surprise, we're going to be leaving Pyrite Town. And, ooh, what do we got over here? Actually, this guy might have something for us. Water. Oh, no, using Splash won't help. <laughs> A bit of wit. I like that. That, that was actually kind of witty for them to throw that guy there. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and start heading out of Pyrite Town. We don't really have anything else to do. I'm gonna want to obviously grab some more Pokeballs before we go on. But um, ooh, check it out! Look at that. She has like star shades on her. Ooh, she's like Sergeant Starshade from Art and Luigi Superstar Saga. Look at those glasses. That's awesome. Fatine. Ah, uh, I might be imagining it, but the town's air feels somewhat less dirty. But not all is well. I can feel the presence of black auras coming from Shadow Pokemon. Wow, Fatine, nothing escapes your notice. After Shadow Pokemon have been a problem for how long, you're impressed by this? There is nothing that eludes the notice of my fortune telling. Woof, 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 woof. The key to freeing Pokemon from that black aura. He just in the north. Up north, that's where my grandpa lives too. Oh no, I forgot, I was on my way to visit grandpa. Damn, you are like, Three weeks late realizing this. He lives in a gate. He lives in a gate village. That's north of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That being north, maybe no more than a coincidence. Maybe no more coincidence. Your answer may be there. Oh, my grandpa was a famous trainer, and he was young. Maybe grandpa would know something. Let's go see him, Wes. All right, so we are going to be heading to the north at long last. So we're going to be seeing some new ground. Finally, after being in Pirate Town for how long? Now, before we go there, I do want to head back to Outskirts Stand and buy some items. So let's do it. Oh my god, Pokemon's on motorbikes! And while we're heading in, Ryder Willy, I gotta say this. If you reverse your name, you have the most unfortunate name of anyone ever. Maybe that's why his name is normal, because he has such an unfortunate innuendo of a name. And everyone in Ore has to have really stupid names. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to Bigfoot over here, and let's buy a bunch of Great Balls, because I really, whoa, um, I don't want to quite spend all my money, but I'll spend most of it, because, like I've said before, you don't, money is not an issue in Coliseum. You can buy tons and tons of Great Balls, and it's never a problem. I should mention also that better balls will become available here later on. But for the time being, they are not. I'm buying 30 Great Balls because oftentimes Great Ball is about the most I need. So even when better balls become available, I tend to still go with Great Balls. But regardless of that, let's head to the north. A gate village, yet another type of stone. So we have Venatia, Pyrite, and a gate. So, I don't know, maybe it's a gate? A lush green town that is peacefully populated by old former ace trainers. Ooh, sounds like we could meet some really awesome people there learn a lot from. Let's go! Prepare for some really nice music and some really nice visuals. Alright. Oh, here we are. This is where my grandpa and grandma live. Ah, the air tastes a lot different here. It's been so long. Okay, let's get going. I bet they're worried about me not getting here. The air would taste different for anybody coming from Pyrite Town. Really? Okay, so, 
Uh, starting off here at a, get, at a gate village, um, I do want to talk about a few things. This area um, is pretty damn different, if you can believe that. Um, we are going to be um, finding a lot more secrets hidden from here on out. Like over here, there's a cave. Would you ever think to look around here in a game that has not really had that many secret hidden items so far? Yeah, they're going to be throwing a lot at us. We got a silk scarf right there that'll power up some normal type moves. You've got that fur out with strength. That is a great item to pick up. And we also have two Ultra Balls. Okay. Part of the reason why I wasn't too concerned about waiting on those better balls is that you get two Ultra Balls for free right there. So that's nice. Um, I'm not going to be dawdling too much. I do kind of want to go through all of this town in time. Because there's a lot of interesting stuff here, and I mean a lot. Like, they really pack this area dense, and ooh, cool, a hat. Torchic is standing perfectly in that area. We got... Oh? You're Egan's granddaughter, aren't you? Come to think of it, he's been telling everyone that you're coming for a visit. He seems awfully pleased. Okay. So, I'm amazed that he didn't contact, like, the police and, like, file a missing person thing. Is that how long it's been since she was supposed to visit? What does this old fart have to say for us? Why, welcome to Agate Village. I said Agate. Village is home to trainers that were once considered experts, and of course, they're Pokemon. I think it's too early for people to settle here. Whoa! Ah, he's making fun of us. This guy up here will battle you. If you'd like to battle him, you can. And, um, while I wouldn't show the fight on camera, I do actually want to fight him really quick to show you something kind of cool. So, how about we battle him? Because the uh, battles that are in a gate village look awesome. Look at that background. You got that huge waterfall, you got this big grassy meadow. You have, um, it's the camera will adjust, and hey, look at Machop, it's got a, never mind. We have some buildings in the background. I don't know, I just, I really like how this area looks. Plus, on top of that, we get this awesome Willy battle music that you don't get to hear nearly enough in Coliseum for how great of a battle theme it is. So, yeah, as you can tell, I like fighting here, just because, well, I just like how it looks and sounds. That's really about it. I like a gate village a lot. I like the atmosphere that it has going for it, but I'll see you guys after this battle. Also, I have to say this, I love that trainer class, fun old man. <laughs> hey, old fun old man scoff. I scoff at the fact that you were once a great trainer. He actually gives you a lot of money. Fighting the trainers here in a gate village might be nice because just like real old people, they spoil the youngins with all their retirement money. All right, so the enemy, they're frightfully strong and somehow cold. I imagine their hearts are closed tight. So he actually was able to tell just from battling us what's going on with our Pokemon. So that's kind of interesting. And oh my god, your feet are huge! Have you ever been to Fennec Coliseum? Not long ago, I won times, they gave me a TM. So that's a bit of foreshadowing right there. Uh, I wouldn't go and take on the Fennec Coliseum quite yet, because Shadow Pokemon can't enter there. So you don't want to head there quite yet. Right here, uh, Hyper Potions are now for sale, as are Revives. Those vitamins that raise stats are also for sale. And then right down here, we have some Colognes. We have Joy Scent, Excite Scent, and Vivid Scent. Excite Scent sounds very funny. Especially because these colognes are meant to be used in massages. Mm. Uh, we cannot actually get these quite yet. They are going to be important for later. I just thought I'd make a stop off here and make a note that you'll be able to get them soon. And I'll make a note of what they do when we actually get the ability to grab them. And speaking of vitamins, I bet some of you have been yelling at me in the comments to do this already. I'm going to finally freaking use that protein on Ms. Drevis to raise the power of Shadow Ball. There we go. Alright, so... Uh, what else is there to do here in a, in a gate village? Well, right here we got this gigantic tree house right here. No, literally, it is a house built into the base of a tree, so it's a literal tree house. And if we head down here behind the tree, we can go across that bridge, and we can grab ourselves the experience share. That is an item I highly recommend grabbing. Uh, basically makes it so regardless of participation in battle, that Pokemon will gain experience. A uh, fantastic item to have. I think I'm actually... Well, do I want to give it to Espeon? Because I kind of want Espeon to have a Twisted Spoon. If you have a Pokemon that's falling behind in growth, or a Pokemon that you've caught that isn't quite up to snuff with the rest of your team, you can use that to make it a lot easier to train up. Now, that house in the tree right there is where we're supposed to go. But I don't want to head there quite yet, because there's a couple NPCs that I do want to show. Wait a second, could it be Rui? Is that you? I thought so. Last time I saw you, you were a tiny little thing. Now look at you, growing up to be a real beauty. Ew, creepy old man. Alright, I shouldn't be worried. Ego was worried, but don't waste time. You should go see him. Um, regardless of what he says, we're going to waste a little bit of time. So, there's a lot of items here, like I said. There is an NPC right here that every time you go to a gate village, if you talk to him, he tells you that his tail brings him berries from somewhere every day. And he will give you a random berry. Right there we get a figgy berry. 
What does that do again? I actually don't remember what Figgy does. It restores HP, but may confuse. Really useful! Uh, he can give you some other berries that are much more useful. Ones that cure status conditions, such as Peach Berry curing poison and Ross Berry curing burn, which is nice. So you might want to actually talk about that. You might actually want to talk to him about getting those. If you have a time to waste with that, you can. Uh, right here, we have the Pokemon Daycare. Unlike in other games where you can leave two with them and breed them, it's kind of just back to how it was in Red and Blue where you can only leave one. Uh, the number of steps you take will gain them experience, so you can train them up here as well if you want. We also have the Name Raider right here. Now, the Name Raider is something that I wanted to bring up for a while now. And we, get, we cannot nickname Shadow Pokemon, but what we can do is we can nickname Espeon, Umbreon, and of course Plusl if we were using it. And that brings me to something. Even though I usually come up with a lot of nicknames for my Pokemon, I have no idea what to nickname my Espeon, my Mysterious, my Quagsire, my Quillava. So you know what? I'm here to offer you fabulous prizes! We're gonna be holding a bit of a contest here. Basically, I have thought and thought and thought and thought and thought and thought and two hours later and thought about nicknaming any of my Pokemon. And frankly, I can't come up with nicknames for any of them. So I am going to offer you some kind of reward for coming up with a nickname for me. For this, I will definitely ship internationally and all that good stuff. We're going to be starting off with naming Espeon in the comments of this video, so go ahead and suggest a name. Only suggest one, of course. I will search to make sure that you have only done one. If multiple people suggest a name that I like, the first person that suggested it gets the credit for it. You have until just 24 hours after this video to come up with a said name. After that, I will not be accepting any more submissions. And what do you get for all your troubles of coming up with such a difficult name, I may ask? Well, using Espeon as an example, you will be receiving official merchandise of whatever Pokemon you named, but... It will also come with a collar from the pet store, as well as an engraved tag with the name that you named it, as well as your name as the owner. Yeah, don't lie, you think that's pretty dang cool, don't you? Not really. Well, okay, at least I tried. Anyway, um, back to the game. But yes, I thought you guys would enjoy that. So, we're gonna be doing that, and... Right over here, now that I'm done doing all that and going all game show host on you, this right here is my favorite NPC in all of Pokemon. Out of all the random little NPCs that aren't relevant to the plot, this is my favorite one. Why, if it isn't Rui, it's been too long. Is that young man your boyfriend? Ah ha ha, I know why you're back. You came to introduce your boyfriend to Egan, didn't you? Well, Rui, I should introduce my boyfriend to you. Ooh. You see, my boyfriend is this mighty Enna here. Ho ho ho! Um. She'll even say it again. Bestiality! This is not Sonic Next Gen! Okay, no, not really. But the, the, um, the mighty Enna even seems cool with it. I don't know. I guess when you're that old. It's kind of tough dating people because a lot of people are interesting in dating at that age, so I don't know. Maybe that's why she went for it. I don't know, but I still find it kind of funny. Oh my god, your dress is huge! She also talks about the fact that um, your Pokemon's happiness will go up from being left at the daycare, which is always nice. Happiness doesn't play too big of a role here. Um, Espeon starts off with its happiness maxed out for return, so it's not that big a deal. Um, but that aside, we have done pretty much everything that I want to do here. There is a Pokemon Center right here. We could head down there, but we don't want to go there quite yet. I just kind of want to head into the center and heal up real quick. Also, I really like the interior of this Pokemon Center. It feels very, um, feels very home-like. Very homely, is that the word? I don't know. Anyway, let's see here. Came to tap the knowledge of, again, tap the knowledge of the villagers about Pokemon. After all, even though they're retired, they were all great trainers in their prime. Get them battling, but I'll never neglect to check the health of my Pokemon. Gah! Ow! But my back! Hmm, seems I should be the one getting my health checked. Wahaha! <laughs> I like that. The, the dialogue does have a lot of wit in this. I mean, Pokemon dialogue I thought was kind of witty, but it didn't really hit this level of witty in the other main games into Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, so I'm really a fan of the writing in Coliseum. Anyway, so we head in here, where we're supposed to go at long last, and. Check it out! Grandpa Egan! Grandma Bella! Bella? I missed you. Ah, Rui, welcome, welcome. We heard that you were coming, but that you didn't arrive. We were worried about you, dear. You finally arrived. What held you up? I just I just had this terrible time. Oh, by the way, I was abducted by these creepy people. 
Luckily, I was saved by Wes, who happened to be there by coincidence. Oh, how frightful. Thank you so much for saving our granddaughter. But why would anyone want to harm Rui? It's probably because I can see these bizarre Pokemon. They're shadow Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines with their heart with hearts of darkness. Shadow Pokemon? What on earth is that? She just explained what it was! Well... Help! There's trouble! Just as she was getting to the good part. <sighs> Egan! It's a serious situation! Some outsiders went into the Relic Forest! What? Who were they? I... I don't know. They shoved me aside and... That's enough talk! It can wait! I'm off! I like how the guard doesn't have any Pokemon and he can just be shoved aside and boom, it's done. Outsiders from the Relic Forest. That mustn't happen. But I worry for my husband even more so. Ruby dear, please go after him. And I also, really quick, I like their refrigerator. What is the purpose of that window with like all those like all that circuitry in it? It's like, it's not just a fridge, it's a space fridge. I don't know. So maybe the news will have something on what's just happened? We've received breaking news. Mirby, the brutal crime lord, crime lord of Pyro Town, has been defeated and driven out of town. They claim two young people behind Mirby's downfall. Their identities and where they came from are unknown. Her Thanks to their heroic work, Pyro Town should hopefully return to its peaceful ways. Not even the news says anything about this, but... It seems that Relic Forest has been broken into. How about... We head there, wherever it is, and try to see if we can do something about it, because it seems like there is trouble. Next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we'll be heading off to the Relic Forest and seeing what's going down. See you guys then.